what we're going to show you now is, is how to tie uh, a Carolina rig. And so you need, um, a Carolina rig is to use to fish on the bottom. You're going to be fishing uh, like a floating lizard or a worm or uh, even a jig, a Sanko, a lot of different baits. It doesn't have to be any particular bait. A tube bait works good on Carolina rigs. Um, it, it's just a presentation, so don't get hung up that it's, it's a, a technique for a specific thing. It's a technique or a presentation for the fish. Um, when they're more feeding on the bottom, it's uh, good for uh, in the spring, pre-spawn stuff. A Carolina rig is also good to help you find structure on the bottom. So you're pulling your weight through and you're dragging it through mud and things like that. And then when you hit gravel or some rocks, that weight's going to tell you what, your, what the bottom composition is. So use a Carolina rig to help you uh, locate fish, but also to help you locate type of structure. And then if you find rock and you find a fish on your rock, then you want to fish it. Then you can use different other presentations. A really good barrel swivel. You're going to get a bead right here to help protect that you're not from your weight that you're going to be using. You'll generally want to use a half ounce or bigger on your weight because you want that bait to be staying down on the bottom. And, that. and then your hook, what you'll want to use is, is really just to match your, your bait. So if you are using um, a big bait, use a big hook. I generally like to use light wire hooks when I'm Carolina rigging because I want that bait to be swimming as free and as natural as possible. If you're using a small bait, go to a smaller hook. Okay, so your Carolina rig is really good. Let your weight slide up and down the line free. The bead helps protect that, that knot from the weight because that's a heavy weight banging on that knot and then you won't be breaking off then your leader. Okay, and then for this Carolina rig, we're just gonna use a giant uh, 10 inch Yamamoto cut tail worm. We've got a five aught uh, Gamakatsu EWG hook, light wire, red. Lots of different things here on the, on the rigging. Um, you can bring it just right up and, and right to the bend. But what I like to do, because I like that bait, this hook to be down, there's an egg sac here on the bait. And I like that hook to get as close to that, the hook point to get as far back and as close to that as possible. So for this one, I'm actually going to thread this hook, this worm up on the hook quite a bit farther. So you can kind of see about how far up or how far back into the worm we're rigging this. And then because we don't have to worry about a weight pushing this, this bait back on the hook, we've got it you know, quite a bit up on here. This will help keep your bait straight too. And then we're, we're going to be burying the hook into the bait or a Texas rig on it or hook, hook uh, in. And so you'll, you'll push that all the way through, push the hook all the way through your bait, bring it back up, pull the bait forward just a little bit and then just let it just slide right back up onto the hook. This will help keep that hook weedless, but it'll allow it to do that. And then when the fish bites on it, the hook gets exposed and you'll be able to get a good hook. 